Hey guys, it's been a while since my last video. I know I've been so busy lately. I just haven't had time to show you my um, my latest mods on both of my cars and what I'm gonna do with my Caprice. So right now I'm gonna show you everything I've done to my S70. The, a lot has changed since the last video, so it should be a long one. So here it is. Um, don't mind me recording this with my iPhone. My other camera has um, a bad microphone, so it just makes the videos kind of unbearable. But this is what she looks like right now. Might be a little dark, sorry. At least the sun's not shining. It might be a little blinding if it was. But um, let's see, I think it was around May that I purchased these headlights from my friend who had an S70. Unfortunately, he was getting rid of it, but that was good for me because I got these headlights for a killer deal, about 150 bucks, and they sell for 400. They look really good. Compared to the stock headlights, it looks so much better. Real mean. There are ABM headlights, projectors, finally. Um, it does have a little accent light here, but I didn't hook that up. I just don't think it looks good. Um, so I, I just put my regular HID bulbs into the um, low beams. That was fine. High beams are still regular halogen bulbs. But it's alright. It looks really good though. Um, I also took off the front license plate. I just think it ruins the look of a car, you know? And for being on there so long, it actually did ruin it. My bumper's a little faded and clear coat chipping. I'm gonna paint these, but it's kind of my excuse if I get pulled over for it. I just say the, the bracket rusted off. So now, right in the passenger side visor. I think that's a great spot for it, honestly, because it's more visible than having it on the dashboard aiming at the sky, you know? So at least I'm making an effort to show it if I do get pulled over. Um, I don't think I showed you guys my spacers that I got for this. I'm running 10 mil in the front, 15 in the back. As you can tell, it could still come out a little more in the rear. But even at that, I already have rubbing. I already sliced a sidewall on one of my tires. So I'm not going to go anymore because I don't feel like finding a fender roller. Um, the wheels turned here. Let me just go turn that straight so you can tell. Alright guys, so the wheel's straight. And as you can tell, it's just a little more flush than it used to be. It looks real goofy um, without spacers now. I don't think I could ever go back. So... Oh, I also put on these 99 side blinkers. It removes, there used to be a Volvo logo here. So I took that off, put this in, wired it up. Kind of nice to have them. Just looks better than the faded Volvo logo. And it's, it's nice to have side blinkers if you're changing lanes on the highway. And I also got these Volvo Prancing Moose stickers. It's a classic for Volvo fans. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of stickers, but I liked it, and I think it looks good on um, a black car. Let's see, what else have I done? Cleaned her up recently, waxed it. Takes like five hours all said and done doing the uh, exterior and interior. Oh, I also got... A real T5 logo. I found out why I was missing mine from the start. There's just some small telltale signs on the passenger side that it's been resprayed, and I think they forgot to put the T5 logo back on there. When I bought the car, I was skeptical, didn't think it was a real T5, but ran the numbers and it came up good. So that's good, it's all the way it should be. Blacked out, of course show you the trunk. I actually 
turned my subs around and it sounds so much better facing the back. I can't believe I've been running it so long facing the front, you know. I was kind of a non-believer of having them face the rear, but it's just amazing the way it it sounds it sounds now the the lows hit lower and it just sounds clean. Um I do have to clean the trunk a little bit. It got dirty. And I'm carrying this breaker bar around because uh I was a little skeptical about the spacers, you know. Um, I had to keep tightening them for a while. Last thing I want is a wheel f uh, falling off on the highway. Oh, and because I faced the subs backwards, I had to uh, had to get a new license plate frame that was thicker, and then tighten up these bolts a little bit to keep it keep it from vibrating. So it's pretty solid now. Um, that's pretty much it on the outside. Haven't done much other than that. So, let's check out the interior. I don't think I've really done much. Could use a cleaning, but... What are you going to do? I'd love to get those uh, V70R inserts. Cause it just looks like crap see how it's peeling there and you can't put your arm really back where it should be um, oh yeah I just ticked over to 180k not too long ago I've been putting a lot of miles on this car but she hasn't left me stranded I'm happy with her check out the rear Not much has changed. Um, I don't know if I showed you the last video, but I got this armrest with the cup holder in it. Pretty good deal, so I figured why not. And it's just nice having enough cup holders for everybody.